Here we are at my favorite Italian restaurant, Vespucci Ristorante Italiano. Let's go inside and meet the owners. <laughs> Hello, Manuel and Francesco. Thank you so much for inviting us to your restaurant. Um, why don't you tell me where you're originally from and how you ended up in San Mateo? Yes, hi. My name is uh, Francesco, and we are coming from Scalea, a small town in uh, the southern part of Italy, in Calabria, famous from, uh, for the pristine waters. Oh, wow. And I'm Manuel. I come from Scalea as well, but my family is from Naples. So how did you decide to open a restaurant? Yes, we have been in the restaurant business for um, all my life, basically, since I was 18 years old. I studied um, culinary school and hotel and restaurant management. My family in, uh, in Italy, in Scalea, we own um, a restaurant, which my grandpa opened many years ago. He was a very famous chef in Italy before traveling all over the world. All the bronze sculptures that you see at the restaurant were made by my father, Maestro Vittorio Fumasi is a prominent sculptor, also a former professor at the Academy of Fine Arts in Florence, where he taught for over 30 years. He made specifically for us uh, a few pieces. We got the, the two portraits of Vespucci and the Italy at the entrance. So some of the artwork is yours, correct? Correct. I grew up in my dad's art, uh, art studio. I was painting and playing with wet clay, sketching, designing with them. And uh, I always dreamed to be an artist, a full-time artist. I remember when I was a kid, all my friends wanted to be ballerinas and they wanted to be a designer. <laughs> I was a creative mind. Now, you also have some other very special pieces like this one. Yes, correct. That was part of a special exhibition um, solo art exhibition in my dad at in Naples at the Aquarium uh, in 1992, where the pieces were collocated inside the tanks with the fishes. So imagine the fishes go around and go inside and passing through, creating beautiful choreographies, like a never-ending and fruitful um, dialogue between art and nature. And uh, May 2020, we actually started to do this project of painting the tables. That was something that I always had in my mind since we opened the restaurant. But you know, using the tables, we couldn't do it. And then when we, unfortunately, we were close to the public to serve uh, food inside, we were only open for takeout at the time. So we used the table and the time to create this project. And, and then I went public with the Manuel Life Creations. So that's how my brand started. In uh, July, uh, we were able to serve food again, but only outside in the parklet. So we actually brought the tables outside, three at a time. And people loved it, really loved the job that I had done. And they started, they really encouraged me to create more and add more saying that they were, uh, were they, saying that they were uh, happy to buy what I was going to create. So since then, I never stopped to fulfill the orders. Um, I created a clothing line. Yes, um, out of my paintings. And I did a one solo exhibition and several collective and uh, I rented a studio that I use as art studio in the morning. I work there every day. So as an artist, I made it. I couldn't be happier. Secrets Your Country allowed me to be who I really am. I was able to fulfill uh, a life's ambition. I feel complete, I feel whole. And I would say that America is still the land of opportunities and American dream still exists and I am the living proof. Manuela, Francesco, thank you so much for the delicious tour of your restaurant. Are there any final words that you have for the American Dream TV viewers who are going to be watching this? Yes, I want to say that I'm grateful 
to this country. Uh, it allowed me to fulfill a life's ambition. To, it made me feel complete, whole. Uh, American dream exists, and I'm the living proof.